And what about Qantas, hey? Talk about virtue signalers. They've cheesed off their customers, of course, first and foremost, with high prices and poor service over the past couple of years. They're in the thick of political problems, too, over the rejecting by the government of extra flights from competitor Qatar Airlines. Just how much sway did Qantas have over the government? They've disappointed investors along the way, with the share price dropping 20% or more in recent months. And at the same time, the long-standing CEO, Alan Joyce, has walked out the door with a $24 million handshake. And now a big loss in the High Court has revealed how the company shafted 1,700 workers illegally so it could outsource its workforce. I don't know if anybody else is getting castle vibes here, but this really is a brilliant vibe. All you Qantas workers at home, ah, we beat them. <laughs> Go and enjoy it. Yeah, this is another blow to the company's public standing and especially its relationship with its workers. And it'll be a blow to the bottom line too with financial penalties and compensation payouts in play. Surely, at the very least, this decision also demonstrates that the board must try to claw back some of Alan Joyce's bonuses.